dear friend, I want to pray with you today. But first, let me encourage you. There are moments in life when the weight of the world feels too heavy. Times when it seems like no one understands your pain, your struggles, or the silent battles you face. But let me remind you today you are not alone. God sees you. He knows what you're going through. And His Word is alive, powerful, and ready to strengthen you. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please Him, for he who comes to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Faith is not just believing God exists. It's about trusting that He's active in your life, that His promises are true, and that His name carries power. Let me ask you, when was the last time you encouraged yourself in the Lord? I'm not talking about hoping for a better day or scrolling through motivational quotes. I mean really sitting down, opening His Word, and speaking His promises over your life. And there are times when no one else will encourage you. In those moments, you need to grab hold of God's Word like your life depends on it, because it does. When David faced one of the lowest points in his life, when even his own people wanted to stone him. The Bible says in 1 Samuel 30 verse 6 that David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. He didn't wait for someone else to lift him up. He reminded himself of who God is. You can do the same. Sometimes you need to declare scriptures out loud. Let them fill the room. Let them fill your heart. When fear tries to creep in, speak Isaiah 41 verse 10 over your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And when you feel weak and like you can't go on, remember Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That strength is not your own, it's His. And when anxiety tries to rob your peace, hold on to John 14 verse 27 peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Do you see what's happening here? The Word of God is your weapon. It's your anchor. It's your source of hope. And don't forget the power in the name of Jesus. Philippians 2 verse 9 verse 11 reminds us that God has exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven, and of those on earth, and of those under the earth. When you speak the name of Jesus, things shift in the spiritual realm. Chains break, darkness flees, healing comes. The name of Jesus isn't just a word, it's a declaration of victory. You see, there's power in what you speak. Proverbs 18 verse 21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. What are you saying over yourself? Are you repeating the lies of the enemy? Or are you proclaiming the truth of God's word? When you're feeling forgotten, remind yourself of Deuteronomy 31 verse 8. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. But when you feel like giving up, speak Galatians 6 verse 9 over your life. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. You don't need to wait for a perfect moment or a grand gesture. Right now, wherever you are, start speaking God's word over your situation. Say it out loud, God, I trust you. I believe your promises are true. I know you are working all things together for my good. And faith is not a feeling, it's a choice. It's choosing to stand firm on God's word, even when your circumstances seem to contradict it. It's choosing to believe that the God who parted the Red Sea, who raised the dead, and who calmed the storm is the same God who is with you right now. And here's the beauty of it. When you step out in faith, even if it's just a mustard seed of faith, God moves. He rewards those who seek him diligently. He makes a way where there seems to be no way. So today, let this be your declaration. I will not be shaken. I will not be moved. 
I stand on the promises of God. His word is my foundation. His name is my refuge. And by faith I will see his goodness in the land of the living. Lift your head high. Speak his word. Walk in faith. Because the God who spoke the universe into existence is holding you in the palm of his hand. And he's not done with your story yet. Let us pray. My Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts open wide, seeking your presence, your peace, and your power. Lord, we acknowledge that you are the creator of all things, the one who holds the universe in the palm of your hand. And yet, in your greatness, you see us, you see every tear, every struggle, every moment when we feel weak and uncertain. Thank you, Lord, for being a God who cares so deeply for us. Father, your word tells us that without faith it is impossible to please you, and today we declare our faith in you. We believe, Lord, that you are who you say you are. We believe in your promises, in your goodness, and in the power of your name. Even when life feels overwhelming, when we're surrounded by doubts or fears, we choose to trust in you. You are our refuge, our strength, and our ever-present help in times of trouble. Lord, sometimes it's hard to hold on. The pressures of life, the disappointments, and the unanswered questions can make it feel like the ground beneath us is shaking. But right now, we choose to stand on the firm foundation of your word. And your promises are yes and amen. They are unchanging, unfailing, and unwavering. You said in Isaiah 41 verse 10, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Father, we hold on to that truth. We believe that you are with us and that we are never alone. Lord, we thank you for the power of your name. At the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every storm in our lives must calm. Jesus, we call upon your name today. We declare your authority over every situation we're facing. That your name is higher than sickness, greater than fear, and stronger than every chain that tries to bind us. We speak the name of Jesus over our lives, over our families, over our futures. Let your name bring healing, hope, and breakthrough into every corner of our hearts. Father, when discouragement tries to creep in, remind us of your word. Help us to encourage ourselves in you just like David did. Teach us to speak scriptures of your promises over our lives. When we feel weak, let us proclaim Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me when we feel lost. Remind us of Proverbs 3. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Lord, give us the courage to walk by faith and not by sight. Help us to trust that even when we don't see the way, you are making a way. When the enemy tries to fill our minds with lies, help us to combat them with the truth of your word. And fill our hearts with the confidence that comes from knowing you are a faithful God who never breaks his promises. It Father, we ask for your peace to cover us like a blanket, not the fragile peace that the world gives, but the unshakable peace that only comes from you. In John 14, you said, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Lord, we receive that peace. Calm our hearts, quiet our minds, and remind us that you are in control. God, we also ask for strength. Strength to keep moving forward when the path is hard. Strength to believe in your promises, even when the waiting feels long. Strength to speak life over ourselves when the enemy tries to bring despair. Lord, give us the strength to persevere, knowing that you are working behind the scenes, weaving everything together for our good. We declare today that we are victorious because of you, Lord. No weapon formed against us will prosper. No scheme of the enemy will prevail. We are more than conquerors through Christ who loves us. O bar can to being panning yam. Apostery.
Thank you, Lord, for being the one we can always run to. Thank you for your word that reminds us who we are in you. Thank you for the power of your name, which gives us authority over every challenge we face. We choose today to walk in faith, to stand on your promises, and to trust in your perfect plan. Lord, may our lives bring you glory. May we reflect your love, your hope, and your light to a world that so desperately needs it. We love you, Father. We trust you, and we give you all the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. If you are blessed by this prayer, type amen in the comment section. Also, subscribe to this channel, like and share this video to reach more people with the blessings of God's Word. God bless you.